This message is for everyone, but especially white women. We're being called to show up in Denver on June 5th with an executive order demanding that Governor Polis ban guns and buy them back. You heard that right. Ban guns and buy them back. We're starting with Denver because Colorado has high levels of school shootings and the governor is a Democrat. <laughs> And they say no one is trying to take our guns. These moms are taking on guns with a plan to ban them altogether in the state. On June 5th, an estimated group of 25,000 plan to demand Governor Polis sign their drafted executive order. You're going to ask Governor Polis to do what? You think that's really going to happen? Guns are going to be banned in the state of Colorado? What are you smoking? Yeah, yeah, we get that a lot. Um, <laughs> and I, I hear that. Like, it sounds, it sounds out there. I'm not, it sounds out there to me still, uh, but I'm deep in the work, which helps, right? And I really believe like in every fiber of my being that this is something that we can do. Today, I live in a home with guns. So I am a walking contradiction, if you will, and I'm happy to be honest about that. Denver's Alice Bloom says here for the kids plan sit in and the gargantuan ask of the governor has altered her viewpoint. I'm willing to sh change my life. My husband is too and say, whether or not Pola signs us, we can get rid of our guns. The gun control lobby has been gaslighting gun owners for decades, claiming they don't want to take anyone's guns, while also saying this. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. And this. I do believe that we need to do buybacks. They are weapons of war with no place on the streets of a civil society. And this. The Biden administration means they're going to come for my guns. Bingo, you're right if you have an assault weapon. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal. Period. And this. If I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. I could not do that. The votes weren't here. I don't for one second believe that this is just a simple group of overzealous helicopter moms hopped up on box wine. My gut feeling says this is nothing more than AstroTurf masquerading as gas roots. I believe the gun control lobby is quietly propping up this group. That's why you have these delusional celebrities backing it. The gun control lobby for years has tried to say that they just want reasonable gun laws. However, however, if this was true, they'd be the first people to come out and say that they don't agree with this movement because this movement explicitly contradicts what they've been trying to tell us. However, they're not gonna say anything because what this gun group does is help the gun control lobby burden the Second Amendment rope from both ends. You quietly trot out this group of Terminator Karens and make them sound so extreme that it makes the other gun control groups seem reasonable, even though they want the exact same conclusion. These women are psychotic, and I don't say this to be mean. They're literally walking, talking definitions of psychosis. Psychosis, a mental disorder characterized by disconnection from reality. You can't be more disconnected from reality than to think that you're just going to ban 400 million guns overnight. You can't be further disconnected from reality than to think that it makes sense for you to be the only person to not have a firearm, you can't be more disconnected from reality than to say, and say in front of the camera, I have guns, yes, I'm a contradiction, but I'm going to now give up my guns so that I'm no longer a contradiction and leave myself defenseless in a world where we have 400 million guns and I only am trying to ban guns in Colorado. This is not psychosis, actually, it's stupid. And besides, Anyone who still has a Black Lives Matter sign in their yard after it's been proven 10 times over that Black Lives Matter was not only founded by a group of Marxists, but also was a complete scam that made their founders beyond rich is completely psychotic. Never trust anyone who is willing to completely depend on the government for their safety because they will be willing to make you as powerless as possible in order to make themselves feel safe. And don't think for a second something like this can't happen. Keep in mind, this is the same Colorado governor who did this. Today, Colorado Governor Jared Polis signed four new gun bills into law aimed at curbing gun violence across the state. The four bills designed to strengthen the state's red flag law, raise the minimum age to buy a firearm up to 21, enact a three-day waiting period for all gun purchases, and to remove immunity protections for gun makers. So it's not like he won't be open to the idea. That's why they're pushing it, because they know they could possibly make this happen with this particular governor. If this was a governor who was staunchly in defense of the Second Amendment, you think they would be trying this? These people aren't stupid. If anything, if anything, psychotic, yes. Stupid, 
That's arguable from the standpoint of them willing to give up their guns to depend on the government for their safety. But when it comes to communication, when it comes to strategy, when it comes to getting their way in politics, these people aren't stupid. They understand people. They understand the irrational aspects of people. They understand the illogical components of the brain and how to tap into it, manipulate it, and get what they want. And that's what they're doing because they see an end. And they see an end with this governor. So to think that this can't happen, you're fooling yourself. And sure, it may go through the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court may overrule it. But at the end of the day, you still have to go through the process. And like I said before, the overall goal is to ask for something so extreme that you say no, so that when they come back with something else, you say, well, it wasn't as bad as the other thing you said. And then you keep doing that over and over and over and over again to the point where banning guns no longer seems extreme. I can respect the fact that these mothers are at least being honest about their position on gun control and saying outright that they want to ban all guns. Unlike the rest of the lying gun control lobby who hide behind the phrase common sense gun measures when they really want the exact same thing, except the way they go about it is a lot different. Instead, they want to chip away at the Second Amendment ever so slowly so that we don't notice that we're losing rights every other year. But what's even scarier is that there are actually a lot of people who think like these women. There are a lot of people out there who won't say anything but agree with these women and want to ban guns. And they will secretly vote for this stupidity, they will secretly support this stupidity, and they will continue to do it until they are further educated. So this is why I think it's so important, so important. I know it's annoying, I know it can get on your nerves, but we have to start having these conversations on the ground level. The same way they claim that this group is grassroots, we need to have out in the grassroots the ability to just start talking to people and informing people. Not argue with people, educate people. Not scream at people, educate people. Sometimes you can't educate people because some people are just too far gone. However, when you see the opportunity to educate people, educate them. Don't make them feel dumb. Don't make them feel stupid. Educate them. These women, on the other hand, they're too far gone. As far as I'm concerned, they're psychotically stupid. But at the end of the day, the way that we are going to continue to protect the Second Amendment going forward is to educate the masses. Because I promise you, and as I said before, right now, the other side understands communication. They understand how to tap in to that little lizard brain and all of the rest of the people in the middle who are trying to make a decision about this issue and get them to believe the stupid lying nonsense that they come out with. So we, as a group, have to go out there and counter that information and counter that narrative. Now, you can't always do it. Some people have to work. Some people have jobs. Not everybody can sit up here and put up a camera and talk to a camera for hours on end, for years on end, and be able to do that without having to take care of kids and other responsibilities. So, with that being said, sometimes it's as simple as passing a video along, whether it's one of my videos or one of the other people's videos in the gun community. So, we've got to get the information out there. So, when you watch videos like this, Share the video with somebody who you think may need to see the information. Share it with somebody who you think may not completely understand what we've been dealing with in a gun space. Share it with somebody who would naturally believe this, but then doesn't get the other side of it by way of a video like this. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.